Good day, righteous family, and all praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator, Aya, Creator of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. We are to keep the covenant. Jeremiah 11, 1-5, and I read, The word came to Jeremiah from the Almighty Creator, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and thou shalt speak to the men of Judah, and to the dwellers in Jerusalem. And thou shalt say to them, Thus saith the Almighty Creator of Israel, Cursed is the man who shall not hearken to the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers, in the day wherein I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, out of the iron furnace, saying, Hearken to my voice, and do all things that I shall command you. So shall ye be to me a people, and I will be to you a redeemer, that I may confirm my oath, which I swear to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then I answered and said, So be it, O Aiah, so be it. Cursed is the man who shall not listen to the words of this covenant. Listen to my voice, and do all things that I shall command you. We are commanded to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. When we do this, we are keeping his covenant. Exodus 10, 12, 13, and 15, and I read, And now Israel, what does the Most High thy Savior require of thee? But to fear the Most High thy Redeemer, and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Most High thy Creator, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Most High thy Savior, and his ordinances, all that I charge thee today, that it may be well with thee. Only the Most High chose your fathers to love them, and he chose out their seed after them, even you, beyond all nations, as it is this or as at this day, excuse me, so be it. To keep the commandments of the Most High thy Saviour, and his ordinances, all that I charge thee today, that it may be well with thee. Only the Most High chose your fathers to love them, and he chose out their seed after them, even you, scattered beyond all nations, as at this day. We are commanded to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. When we do this, we are keeping his covenant. Oshua 22.5, and I read, Only be very careful to observe the commandment and the law which Moses the servant of Aya commanded you to love Aya your Redeemer and walk in all his ways and keep his commandments and hold fast to him and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul so be it we are commanded to keep his law statutes and commandments when we do this we are keeping his covenant. We are to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments given to us by the Almighty Ayah. Christianity tells us that Idolashai brought in a new covenant with his blood and flesh. Let me again show you the new covenant that the Almighty Creator is going to bring in when he shakes the earth. You will see without a doubt that Idolashai has not brought in any new covenant. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 34, and I read, Behold, the days are coming soon, says the Almighty Creator, Aya, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant, which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says Aya. But this is the covenant 
that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Iah. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their redeemer, and they shall be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No Iah, for they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says Iah. For I will forgive their iniquity, and their sin I will remember no more. So be it. Please hurry, Father. This hasn't happened, which means I dolish I lied and fooled the masses. We have only one Savior, and He's the Most High, Almighty Creator, Aya. Anything else is going to get you killed. All praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator, Aya, Creator of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. Have a beautiful day, family. The Almighty Creator loves you, and I love you.